Davies very swiftly comes in for the first ball of the semi-final. And he beats him beautifully by. Because that's his ability. He, uh, he can move the ball around at a very good pace. You're never quite sure where he's going to bowl it, particularly when the ball is new. That seems to be his, uh, his great problem. When the ball is new, he can't quite control it. But uh, he's very dangerous. Oh, swing and a miss. Well, there's the nerves for Mark Greatbatch. He's been the star with the bat for New Zealand, along with Martin Crowe. Swashed at that second delivery, beaten by the first. Tried to hit him down the ground over long on somewhere, beaten all ends up. So the pressure now starting to show for Great Batch in the early. That's one of the leg spinners there at uh, point, Mushtaq Ahmed. Two left handers opening the batting. And Great Batch. He's had a terrific uh, series, as Bill mentioned, 32 fours and 12 sixes. And he loves this ground, Eden Park. He plays for Auckland. Very good start by Wasim Akram. Now we get for one. To John Wright, the open stance, the bat on the toe. Fix it just ball to square and then a short leg Jarvid looking to his left so two to right and, um, quite a ticket for nine it's over the top that's the first boundary it's a six top edge cutting away was a macro mark great batch has had a wonderful tournament brings up another six that's his 13-6 in the World Cup. Only about 45, 50 metres uh, in that area. As I mentioned, uh, Mark Greatbatch plays for Auckland in the domestic competition. Knows the ground pretty well. He knows where to hit them. Straight in for a bowler. Must have been pretty close to another one. Umpire Shepard had a good hard look. Wasn't Macklem just losing control here, getting a little bit anxious. The pressure showing. Wasn't well, Macklem's the sort of bowler that uh, just lets it happen. He's some bowlers uh, very consistent, like to bowl consistent line and length. That's a fine shot. Wright finds a gap. That's four. Beautifully timed there by John Wright. Whereas he was jabbing at the ball outside off stump in the first couple of overs, a little bit more relaxed there and really timed that one sweetly. Waited for it and uh, just put it into the gap. New Zealand and Pakistan have played 24 times in one day at Nationals. New Zealand have won 11, Pakistan 12 one no result so they're very evenly matched at this level in one day competitions the great batch now on strike drive it again big crowd here at Eden Park oh he's hit that miles it's a short boundary oh this will go into second tier huge six down she comes off the concrete what a shot down the wicket he goes take that I'll keep job here. Great Batch has certainly got that one away. In fact, at uh, Christchurch just a few days ago, he really got into Akib Javid. Took 16 off his second over. And so now he's trying to dominate the ascendancy again and really put Akib out of the attack. Of course, the problem is that if Akib comes out of the attack quickly, Mushtaq Ami, the leg spinner he bowled so brilliantly at Lancaster Park, could come on. He... This is Akib Javid. Oh, a ball is bowled him. Slower ball, you little beauty. That was a magnificent delivery. He very, very nearly got himself an LBW. Last over with a slow ball, having been hit for six. That was a slow one. Totally beat Great Patch. And back go the stunts. It was hardly quick enough to knock the bales off. Well, quite clearly, it's a very big blow for, uh, for New Zealand. A very good wicket for Pakistan. Might have got an edge or perhaps a little bit of a pad onto that. But really did him through lack of pace. 
Magnificent bowling by Aki. Yes, and uh, a good start too for New Zealand, thanks to Mark Ratbatch, 17. Just 22 balls, and uh, I don't want to knock that because it's better getting off to a quick start.